Tharoor. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the Honourable Minister has given some reasons in his statement as well as orally, but he hasn't mentioned the biggest obstacle, which is that historically our trade with Central Speaker, Asia has Speaker, gone through the, the, yes, sir, the, the, the northern part of Afghanistan. As long as that uh, situation, that relationship remains the way it is, land routes to Central Asia will essentially be impossible, let alone unviable. So the question is whether the Minister would consider embarking on a serious effort to create regional comprehensive trade agreements with massive concessions in order to make up for the extra costs that would be involved in trade with these countries that would have to go by air rather than by land. And if you were to do that, I mean, specifically there are many countries, as you can see, Kazakhstan is a fairly decent figure, but it's mainly oil and gas. We really need to do more in terms of actual finished goods, and these countries could be a market for our goods if we would actually make a gesture from our side as well. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I would undoubtedly agree with the Honourable Member that there is huge potential for trade with these countries, but I would like to draw his attention to the answer part A and B, where we have talked of low accessibility and poor connectivity. Obviously, these are the barriers to trade with this region. In the days, uh, coming days, we will try to work. The Honourable Prime Minister has uh, developed very good personal relations with the leadership of these countries. The nation and the people-to-people -people ties between these two countries are also very strong. And we would certainly very much encourage uh, bilateral agreements or an FTA with this region, but they normally work as the EAEU. So we need a lot of engagement, and as the Honourable uh, Member who is formerly handling the Foreign Ministry is well aware that these are issues that prolong over a long period of time every nation secures their own interests, their national interests, their national priorities. And the process has been initiated by our sending them the uh, joint statement. And I can assure the Honourable Member that the government will be working to, towards a resolution of the free trade or some sort of arrangement with these countries.